another interesting weekend now. What's Adelaide's approach to it? Oh, look, our approach is really narrow as we've done all year, Rich. So we're really concentrating on making sure we keep the momentum going into next week. And we've got a tough assignment down at Geelong, which we haven't had uh, great success at. So uh, really important that we keep playing the way that we want to play and, and keep building that momentum. Do you feel in some way you've been cheated? No, not really. I mean, that's footy. The rules are in place. So we'll just deal with it as it is. And um, as I said, we've just got to worry about ourselves. Would you do a similar thing? Look, I'm not going to comment on other clubs as to what they do, but uh, for us at the moment, we're, we've picked our best 22 to win this weekend. You're not tempted to make one or two late changes? No. How many are you going to take? Uh, we've taken 24. Yeah. Is there any frustration towards the kangaroos at all? No. Nah. No, nah, I mean, as I said, the rules are in place. They're doing what's best for their footy club, and that's fair enough. You know, That's their prerogative, but as I said, well, I can only worry about what we're doing. Oh, well, that's the thing. I mean, you can't rely on other teams' results uh, at the end of the day. So that's the situation we're in. As I said, we just got to keep winning and make sure we worry about what we're trying to achieve. Are you perfectly content with how the sides are playing, or is there, are there things you need to see on the you know, before you get to the finals? Oh, I know there's always little things you can tinker with, but uh, you know, in terms of the blueprint, as I've said previously, there's some positive signs, but we've got to do it consistently uh, over the next three or four weeks to get the result that we want. Um, more about us and about how we pressure the opposition, how we move the ball and how we defend. I mean, those are the three key things that that we've been focusing on all year, not just the last you know six or seven weeks. So um, obviously the last few weeks it's it's come together for majority of games, so that's going to be another test tomorrow. Yeah, that, well, I think that'll be a case by case you know proposition. Um, obviously, depending on how the games go, we'll make those decisions in the box as we need to. Going in, un going in unchanged, do you feel like there's more of a benefit getting that synergy together again rather than resting players? Oh, well, that's my philosophy at the moment, absolutely. You know, with where our list's at in terms of a young list um, and the maturity of it, we need to make sure that we're all on the same page going into the first week of the finals. There's a lot of guys that haven't been in that situation, so I think that's critical going into this uh, into next week. So what are you worried about? Oh, no, look, it's, it's been all year routes really, so the players understand what's going on, you know, uh, we're worried about this week's game and whatever happens there happens, as I've said before, footy clubs there's always something going on, so the players are pretty resilient to that. No, I think if you know Paddy, that stuff just bounces off him. I think his form suggests that it uh, hasn't bothered him and he's in great touch and old coach Paddy no different than old coach the other 21 players. We saw Pods uh, board the flight. Is there any chance you could use him at some stage in the next few weeks after that 20 goals in a couple of games? Oh, well, we don't know. Injuries, you know, that's what that's what can happen. But what we do know is in great form, so that's that's great. Um, but, yeah, we'll wait and see. If we do need him, he'll be ready to go. Did you put anything special in place? I mean, I think only half the, maybe half the side actually played a final. Um, next week, did you put anything in place? Any advice or anything like that? Oh no, I guess you just get around to the individual players and uh, it'll be a normal week. But uh, as I said, we can't look forward to next week. We've got to worry about what we're doing this week uh, and we'll be disappointed if we don't play at the level tomorrow. Yeah, no, I think, yeah, look, I think it's, it's great. I mean, it's been one of those rules that hasn't really latched on and, and certainly the players and the coaches has been difficult for us. So, you know, I think that's OK. In terms of the number, you know, we'll get our heads around that over the, the summer as to what that looks like. But um, I think it's a, a great result. Oh, I think all those things are a constant uh, route in terms of changing what your list looks like, what you need. Um, but certainly there'll be some more consideration to uh, the type of personnel now that's dropped to 90, yeah. What sort of program do you have in place for the SNFL guys that were sort of pushing for a selection? Yeah, so they'll they'll do a match simulation type session um, 
tomorrow, so they'll be on the same program as, as the AFL guys, so they'll get their kilometres and GPS up to where it should be, um, so they'll be all in. We're a team first footy club, so they'll be around for the whole journey and enjoy it with us. And mate, just finally, how's Hugh Greenwood, Greenwood going? Sorry? How's Hugh Greenwood going on the track? Yeah, well, he hasn't done a lot. He's sort of just been uh, having a look around and, and uh, seeing what an AFL environment looks like, but uh, uh, so far he's looked really enjoyed it and uh, it's opened his eyes he's obviously come from a different background but uh, yeah we're looking forward to see what else he can do over the next week or so oh, look, I'm not going to buy in too much about that Rooch but you know what we what we have said is that you all of us in the game, whether you're a player, supporter, we've got a responsibility to make sure the game's in good health.